Hello everyone, this paper is about the prevalence of apical periodontitis in patients with autoimmune diseases and their immunomodulators in a retrospective cohort study. So the aim of this study was to investigate the prevalence of apical periodontitis in patients affected by uh, autoimmune diseases and taking biologic medications. These uh, autoimmune diseases were uh, rheumatoid arthritis, which is the most common inflammatory arthritis, and the prevalence of this disease is 1%. Second disease was psoriasis, which is a chronic inflammatory skin disease linked to a genetic predisposing pathogen traits. And finally, inflammatory bowel syndrome, which is based on the immune reaction of the intestinal mucosa to improper stimulation by environmental genetic and dietary factors. The inclusion criteria for this study, um, they chose patients, uh, men and women, aged between 18 to 90 years old, affected by one of these autoimmune diseases, and were treated with biological medications for at least three months, while the exclusion criteria was if the patient presented already with periodontitis or had diabetes, cardiovascular disease, or osteoarticular pathologies, other than rheumatoid arthritis or cancer, uh, or those who take other medications and patients with incomplete clinical documentation, all of them were excluded. The study had uh, two groups. One, the autoimmune disease group, which include 99 patients and total number of teeth, uh, 2,440 teeth. And they were divided into three subgroups uh, according to the disease type, while the control group included 99 patients and total number of 2,655 teeth with no systemic disease and not taking any medications. All of the patients uh, had panoramic radiographs taken for them as an initial screening method. Also, periapical radiographs were taken for those teeth presented with either direct or prosthetic restoration or uh, apical periodontitis was suspected. Also, the, DM the DMT, which is a decayed missing filled teeth index was scored and calculated, and the periapical radiographs were scanned and assessed by two trained endodontists. For the results, the DNT index was similar in both groups, but at patient's level, the prevalence of apical periodontitis was higher in the study group of uh, autoimmune disease patients with 65.7%, while in the control group, it was lower by 46% only. The autoimmune disease patient had 2.2 times more increased risk of diagnosis of apical periodontitis compared with the controls. Smoking also was associated with an increased prevalence of apical periodontitis in both groups. On tooth level, the number of teeth with apical periodontitis was remarkably higher in the autoimmune disease group, more than in the control groups. Patients had also the same um, higher chance, which is 2.2 time higher risk of having apical periodontitis than the controls. As a conclusion for this paper, patients affected by autoimmune diseases showed a higher prevalence of apical periodontitis, confirming the role of an altered immune system in the pathogenesis of the condition of apical periodontitis. Also, the immunomodulatory drugs taken by these patients also seem to influence the manifestations of the disease apical periodontitis. Thank you.